Okay, everyone, welcome, welcome. We are on lesson two of our mindfulness fundamentals. And so today we're going to talk about um, supporting attention, mindfulness, and our body. So first we're gonna start with that opening sequence we talked about before, that each time um, to begin and end, we're gonna take a moment, ring the bell, and just notice three breaths at our own rhythm, our own pace. So be comfortable however you're seated, Close your eyes if you wish, or just softly gaze downwards and just take those three breaths together, starting now. Okay, so also whenever we start, I want us to take a moment to check in. Um, check in with our emotional state where we are right now. I'm going to put up on the screen in a second um, the ruler grid. And so what this is, is it's different emotions that we can feel and it focuses on the grid, different color sections of whether our energy is high or low and whether our, how we're feeling is pleasant or unpleasant. So just check in with yourself right now. Is your energy high, low, pleasant, unpleasant? And just try to assign yourself to one of these grids of the green or the blue or the yellow uh, or the red and just check in with yourself right now. So our exploration today, um, first off is just reflect on what is mindfulness? Do we remember? So if you remember, mindfulness is paying attention, uh, paying attention to right here, right now, um, with purpose, because we want to, with kind and curious attention to our surroundings, to other people, kind and curious attention to our body, our sensations, our thoughts, our emotions, all these things. So did you pay attention last week to when you were paying attention? Did you notice? Did you notice paying attention? Did you notice distraction? Um, and if not, it's okay. Again, this is new, this is different. It can be uh, challenging to implement this into our life and that's okay. So if you did notice when you were paying attention or when you were distracted, if you notice just one time, reflect on what you were doing at that time. Um, were you paying attention? Did you notice when you were paying attention more or did you notice when you were distracted more? Um, did you notice what exactly it was you were doing that was distracting you? Was there a common theme? Are you more frequently distracted by thoughts, more frequently distracted by emotions or by outside stimulus? So what distracts you more? Um, and then what gets your attention going? What were you paying attention to most? Is there one thing or one topic or one aspect of your life that you're really focused on and it's easier for you to focus and concentrate? Just be aware of that. Um, pay kind and curious attention to these things. So we're gonna explore today mindfulness of something, of our body, as we said, and I'm about to ask you a question. And the key here is not to readjust or move before I ask this question, okay? So right now, notice your posture. So basically freeze, hopefully you didn't change your posture, and notice how your body feels however it is that you're seated. And however it is you're seated, whether it's up straight or maybe we're like this, right? Notice how your body feels. Notice if it's easier to breathe or not. Notice the quality of your attention, right? Are you able to pay attention in this posture or is it easier to get distracted in this posture? Do you feel alert or engaged in this posture or do you feel kind of tired or disengaged? So now we're gonna try, wherever posture you're in, we're going to try what we call like mindful posture. So this mindful posture is also kind of like upright but not uptight is a little cheese ball motto. And so what it means is our feet, if we're able, um, we put both of our feet on the floor to kind of ground us, to hold us there. And we sit upright, not uptight. Don't like have your shoulders like too stressed. Like, but we have like, imagine your spine is a straight line, like almost a string, like holding you up. So just 
find that posture, find that moment, and notice how does this feel? What does it feel like? Are you more or less alert? Are you more or less tired? Um, how we feel in our body, it's really important. It's important to feel safe. Um, it's, our body will give us signals of when we feel threatened or safe. And so a lot of this bo body posture um, can, can be important to our overall awareness of things and paying attention. So whenever you notice your mind wandering, you can check in with your posture and just notice like what posture, this like upright and uptight, if it's awkward and uncomfortable for you, that's okay. Um, sometimes we're not used to this like proper posture, right? Um, so Maggie's back. Um, sometimes, right? Um, it can feel uncomfortable, it can feel stiff or awkward. So that's okay. But just notice for yourself when you feel alert, when you feel engaged, um, when you're able to pay attention more, what posture works for you to pay attention. So just notice that over the next few times. And now we're going to explore more about stillness versus movement. <laughs> stillness is not her strong suit, uh, Maggie. Um, so stillness versus movement and how it may support our attention. <laughs> Okay. Hi. Okay. Okay. Um, Maggie's still here. Okay, come here. Come up. You can sit up here. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay. So now we are going to do this guided mindful practice, as we said. So each time uh, we'll do a guided mindful practice. And so today, again, um, just start eyes closed or open, but downward gaze, whatever is comfortable for you. So get in that comfortable positions for you. And just check in with how your body feels right now. Like how does your body feel? Is it tense? Is it tired? Is it awake? And maybe move or stretch a little bit if you need to. If you need to like stretch your arms <laughs> one way or the other, rotate or shake out our hands, rotate your feet, your ankles, just do some gentle movement um, as needed for you. And then when you're doing that gentle movement, check in with how it feels. Um, moving and stretching sometimes is just what our body needs and just feel if that feels good, sometimes like stretching our, our neck. <laughs> right? These different movements, um, whatever works for you and your body to stretch and move every now, now and then. So continue, continue this gentle motion uh, movement if you feel like it. And then slowly and gently become still. Again, closing our eyes if it feels okay. My eyes will be open and I'll ask the, your teacher if she's in class, she'll keep her eyes open as well to just ensure um, that everyone feels safe and secure. So just, again, sit in that movement, in that place that's relaxed but alert. So whatever relaxed and alert looks and feels like for you, find that place. Placing your hands wherever it's comfortable. And just take a moment and notice gravity. Notice that downward force on your body of gravity. Maybe it feels heavy. And notice tension. Notice tension um, maybe in your neck or shoulders or a back and try to release it if possible. If you're noticing tension in your jaw, a lot of times we carry that tension in our jaw. You can just even like softly breathe in through our nose and exhale with our mouth open a little bit with a silent and that can release the tension in our jaw. Take this moment to recognize as a way stepping away from doing and just practice being. We do a lot and we're always constantly moving and thinking of things. That's what we are. It's who we are. And just take this time as a gift to notice what's happening. It doesn't need to be special. Usually it's pretty ordinary. Some of you might consider it boring. But just take this moment to just be. 
And in just a moment, I'm going to ring the bell, and I encourage you to listen to the sound of it until it ends. So focus your attention on the sound of the bell until it goes away. So now that we are back, we're going to do a bit of a debrief from that guided practice. So first, what did you notice? How did it feel when your body was still? Did you feel relaxed or not? If it didn't feel relaxing, that's okay. Um, sometimes when we've been really busy, when we're really busy or really exhausted, we don't notice. So sometimes when we practice mindfulness and we take that moment to just check in, to just be, it brings awareness to things that sometimes we don't have the time or the attention to be aware of. So if we're exhausted, um, if we're stressed, sometimes we're going and going and not aware of that. So when we practice mindfulness, if practicing mindfulness spikes in anxiety or stress or spikes or you notice you're just exhausted, if it makes you feel tired or sleepy, that's okay. That's normal. Uh, most likely your body was stressed or anxious or exhausted. You just never took the moment to check in with yourself to, to be aware of that. So mindfulness is designed to help us with that, to help us be aware of um, these different sensations of our body. So also, did you notice sensations? Did you notice um, things, tension? Did you notice an alertness? Just explore with that kind and curious attention. Just notice these things. So our like tool of the week, how your experiment for this week. Um, so last week, if you remember, was just noticing when you were paying attention and noticing when you're distracted. This week, I want you to notice the sensations of your body when moving and the sensations of when still. So just notice what your body feels like in movement and notice what your body feels like in stillness. That's it. Notice when you're alert or when you're engaged um, with your body. So just kind of play around again, up to you of how you want to hold yourself accountable or check in either with alarms or post-it notes. Um, and then you also have the journal um, that your teacher can give you to answer those journal questions and just take a moment to reflect. So we're gonna close again with just taking that moment of listening to the bell, eyes closed or open, whatever's comfortable for you. And just notice three breaths, notice three ins and outs, um, notice the rise and fall. Just notice your breath three times. all have a beautiful day my neighborhood birds also wish you well <laughs> bye everyone <laughs>